Hi, I'm Mariah Meyer. I'm a marine biologist and Patty Dive Master. I'm here on behalf of scuba.com to show you some basic scuba hand signals. So today we're gonna to learn some scuba hand signals and dive language underwater because it's extremely important to be able to communicate with your buddy or buddies that you're with while underwater in case an emergency happens. So basic hand signals that we're gonna to learn today are okay. Okay is both a question and an answer. If you ask your buddy okay, they should be able to respond with okay. Another common signal is to ascend, which is a thumbs up motion, or to descend, which is a thumbs down motion. Another signal is the problem signal, and your buddy is going to give you the signal if they are not okay. If they give you the problem signal, they're either going to point to their nose, ears, mask, or wherever they are having that problem. If the problem is that they are cold, they're going to make a shivering motion. If your buddy starts to panic, you can tell them to breathe from the regulator and just remind them that everything is going to be a-okay. If you are low on air, you are going to put your hand across your chest with a fist to signal to your buddy that you are low on air. But if you are out of air, you're going to make a throat slashing motion so your buddy knows that it's a serious situation. If an instructor or dive master tells you to buddy up, they are going to make this motion. If an instructor or dive master wants you to watch them, they are going to point to their eyes and then to the themselves. If an instructor, dive master, or buddy asks you how much air they have, they're going to make a motion like this. To respond, what you're going to do is you're going to put your thousands in PSI on your arm and your hundreds on your hand. If your buddy is low on air or out of air and needs to share air, they are going to make a motion like they are taking their regulator out of their mouth and giving it to you and then make the breathe motion. If someone wants you to listen, they're going to point to their ear and then turn their ear towards you. If the buddy that you are with wants to turn around, they're going to make a circular motion like this with their fingers saying to turn around. Alongside from some serious dive communication, we also have some fun communication to show the wildlife in the area. So one of my favorites is shark, which is just putting your hand on top of your head like a shark fin. We've got eel, where it looks like the eel's mouth right here. To do turtle, I'll put my two hands together like this and roll my thumbs, making a turtle-like motion. For crab, I'm gonna make my hands as pinchers. If there's a nudibranch, I'm going to put my hands over my neck as to show the naked gills of the nudibranch. If there's a dolphin, I'm going to make a dolphin motion. And if I want you to listen to the dolphin noises, I'm gonna to point to my ear and then make the dolphin motion. Or if there's a whale, I'm also going to point to my ear and then make the dolphin motion. If there's a lobster, I'm gonna put two fingers on top of my forehead just like this to act as the lobster's antenna. If there's a jellyfish, I'm gonna move my hand just like this in a jelly fish motion and if any of these animals are a baby or small I'm going to make a tiny motion before making the animals motion itself so that means tiny shark and those are a few of the basic dive signals that you need to use while communicating underwater please like and subscribe to our channel and visit scuba.com for more